All right guys, Tyler Geske down here at Emerald City Guitars in beautiful downtown Seattle with my pick of the day, which today is this fantastic 1967 Gibson SG Standard. The Les Paul model was not exactly flying off the shelf, which is a little hard to believe considering the prices they go for now, easily into the six figure range. But in the late 50s, they were a little bit of a flop. So in 1961, Gibson, uh, completely apart from Les Paul, redesigned the Les Paul model to something pretty similar to what you see right here. Double cut body, sharp horns, a much thinner body, and uh, with these contours as well. Now Les himself is pretty notorious for hating uh, this model. He really, really didn't like it, but he was still under contract with Gibson, so it stayed the Les Paul model until 1963 when they finally removed his name from this guitar and uh, began calling it the SG uh, for the solid guitar. So this guitar specifically has a number of pretty cool features. The first of which, this really fantastic Maestro Vibrola. Uh, some people call this the Lyra or the Lyre version because of the engraving that it has right on the faceplate here. We have this bigger Batwing uh, pickguard that we'll see in the later 60s that I believe was introduced in 66 or so. We have two patent number humbuckers, which are just as good as PAFs, don't let anybody tell you any different. So we'll go up here, fat mahogany neck, uh, not quite 50s profile, but still pretty chunky C. Uh, mahogany body, uh, this neck joins the body at the 22nd fret, which is three frets higher than our uh, standard Les Paul model. Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Uh, this specific guitar has had a couple things changed, first of which this ninth fret inlay had broken and fallen out, so somebody threw a, a pretty nice replacement inlay in there. This has had a refret done with pretty big wire, definitely jumbo. As we'd expect with the refret, we have a new nut cut as well, but really well done, really professional. Uh, a lot of these 60s SGs in this cherry finish have actually faded uh, to a pretty gross looking brown. Uh, this one is still pretty vibrant red though, has that really classic look to a really nice medium weight. So now that we know a little bit about the guitar, let's go over here, plug it in, see how it sounds. Today we're plugging into this Morgan amp, the DAG15, a really fantastic 15 watt amp as the name suggests, and just a really great lightweight, sort of AC30 style, small combo. All right, so now we've heard it. Get on down to the shop, try it out for yourself. Absolutely fantastic 1967 Gibson SG Standard. My pick of the day. We'll see you next time.